What's up guys, Josh Aurora here and welcome to my very first Q&A. Firstly, this was supposed to be uh, my 100th upload, but I've kind of got a bit carried away on my schedule lately and I just worked it out wrong and it's going to be my 101st. You had one job. Yeah, I didn't really promote the Q&A too well, so a lot of my questions are actually coming from Facebook where I posted out a status off my page. Um, I've got a few that are on YouTube as well, so I'm kind of just going to do it as a bit of a uh, relaxed video. I kind of skim read some of the questions, I didn't read them all in depth, because I wanted it to be a bit of a surprise, you know. Right, the first question is from Ashley Smith. He said, what would you rather have the ability to do? Turn into an Apache helicopter that can shoot dicks, or summon a rideable tiger that speaks fluent Chinese? You see, now both of them are pretty badass, aren't they? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a rideable tiger though, that speaks fluent Chinese. I would learn Chinese just to be able to get along with that guy. Monica asks, do you choke on the vape? Let's find out. Do I choke on the vape? No, I don't. <laughs> yes. James asks, would you rather have vaginas for ears or penises for fingers? I'd like either, but if I had to choose, I would probably say vaginas for ears, as long as they still worked, because at least then I could still play games. <laughs> Okay, next question. This one's a bit more of a serious one as well. Uh, Joe Morton asks, what is the first ever video you gave thumbs up on YouTube? That is a very good question. I know I have no idea. Uh, I would imagine it was like one of the Brad Brad's Let's Plays of like uh, Outlast or uh, The Last of Us or something. The next question is off Dom Senshi off YouTube. Hope I've said your name right, sorry if I haven't. What was your reaction when you first uploaded your very first video? I can remember when I went to set the video to uh, public and share it, I was actually really nervous because like it was like completely new and I thought, geez man, like, what, like, what's everyone going to think? People are going to think I'm stupid or think it's like, really like, silly or whatever. I watched that video back not that long ago and I was like, wow. I, I always forget how strong the accent is as well, so it's probably not that appealing for people to watch anyway. Another one off YouTube is from the lovely ladies over at OK Multiplayer. Uh, what's the cheesiest song in your music library? Well, I've got my own playlist on Spotify that I've made, which has the likes of S Club 7, Will Smith. Uh, what else have we got? Got a bit of Seal, you know, Kiss from a Rose. And I'm partial to a bit of Disney as well. Nothing puts a smile on your face like a good Disney theme song. Uh, but yeah, I hope that's cheesy enough for you. <laughs> it's not all I listen to, but I have got that on my spot before. Jack Vella asks me to say, Cool whip. What'd you say? Is that right? Cool whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Tom Priest asks, If Birmingham FC was no more, would Villa be your second team? <laughs> <laughs> No. Joe Hughes asks, do you like Crocs? No. Right, I'm going to do a couple more questions, I think. We've got one here from Louis Dearlove, who says, uh, what was your most painful place to get a tattoo and your least painful place? Yeah, there's a few places that aren't exactly pleasant, but here you go, you're going to learn something now. I've actually got my belly button tattooed, <laughs> and uh, that was probably the worst place. Little wolf way, but yeah, look at that. Pure black belly button. Nasty. Um, and the least painful place, I would probably say, um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd agree with Lewis where he said that his hand was the least painful. Look, absolutely fine on it. It's a bit tender around the sides here, like, but um, yeah, other, on this bit, it's fine. Harry Dean asks, what are your goals for 2016 and would you rather have toes for fingers or feet for hands? Uh, right. With regards to YouTube, I'd probably say just keep uploading regularly um, and keep it to stuff that I'm enjoying and then just hope that other people enjoy it too and come and join the channel. But uh, in general life, um, at the moment, uh, me and Sean and my girlfriend are actually looking at booking up a holiday. so. Uh, that's probably a, a solid aim of ours at the moment is to get enough money together to go and have an immense holiday and 
do some sweet vlogs in a different country. Uh, also, go over and check Harry Dean's uh, channel. Just type in Harry Dean on your search bar. Uh, he uploads really cool vlogs and stuff. So, uh, definitely worth checking out. Ben Potts asks, who do you look up to or who inspires you? Uh, not YouTube related, just in life. I think one of my biggest inspirations, aside from YouTube, is actually Conor McGregor from the UFC. Which you're probably thinking, well, hang on, look, you're, you're a skinny boy from Birmingham, how does he inspire you? I've got so much time and respect for his determination and like, his motivation and his work rate to just succeed, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it rubs off on you, like, watching him and how far he's came is like, makes me think, well, why can't I do that with what I want to? Obviously not UFC because I can't fight, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and my favourite type of duck is, I don't know the name, but the little guys that have the, uh, the old afro, you know? Smoke weed every day. Right then guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, thanks a lot for everyone that sent questions in, and I'm sorry if I didn't answer yours. Um, I hope you enjoyed a bit more of a different video. It's uh, quite random. Some of the questions were really stupid, but I like stupid. But yeah, uh, please get a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and... Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching as always, guys. And here's to another 100 videos, what we're saying. Peace out.